So it's been a while since I did a CUI, sorry. The other day I made brunch for my mom and we had crook monsieur sandwiches and they turned out awesome. And I realized I've only had like maybe maybe one or two sandwich episodes on here, which is kind of weird because half of what I eat is sandwiches. I love freaking sandwiches. So today on CUI we're gonna do crook monsieur. Drunk? Who's drunk? Are you drunk? Have you been drinking? Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour. I am Sean. I know it's been a while since I did a Cooking Under the Influence. I'm sorry. I haven't felt like talking. Anyway, today we're going to be doing a delicious French sounding sandwich. Croc Monsieur. Not Coq Monsieur. Which is what, well, I won't go there. Anyway. Before we start cooking though, as every good chef knows, we need a drink. Mr. Crunchy. Okay, a while back, I wanted to make tarragon juleps. The only problem is when I put the tarragon in the bourbon, it tasted like bourbon with weeds in it. And it was gross. Okay, the drinky part, it's gonna be a little bit delayed because we have to make a certain kind of syrup. I had to figure out a way to make the tarragon essence. That's what we're gonna do. Let's get a little pot. All right, I guess that's like a cup of water, whatever. Uh, let's barrel it. And we're gonna make a simple syrup. Remember what a simple syrup is? Sugar and water. Real simple. Hence the name. So that was a cup of water and I don't know, like a, close to a cup of sugar, I guess. Okay, this is kind of, this is boiling now. All your sugars dissolve, awesome. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna infuse the simple syrup with tarragon. Turn your water off. You're not making candy. Try and struggle with this damn package that I had to buy because my tarragon in my garden died. Apparently you have to water it or something. All right, take a few sprigs of tarragon. And just let that infuse in the water. I don't know, it might suck. It might taste horrible. I haven't tried this before. If it comes out good and you want to do it, let it sit for like 45 minutes before you serve it so it's all a junk and infuse. So, I'm not going to wait 45 minutes just for a drink, so we're going to have to do something in the meantime. So since we're going to be drinking mint juleps made with bourbon, let's just have a little sip of bourbon while we're waiting for our shit to infuse. Cheers! Alright, this has cooled down a reasonable amount, I guess. Ooh, it tastes good. Well, it tastes kind of like paragoric. What are we making? Uh, Something with bourbon. Oh, tarragon juleps, yeah. Tall glass. Some ice. Oh, I didn't even have to strain out the tarragon, it just stayed. Kind of looks like a bucket of pee. Mm. Add some of our simple syrup. I guess that's enough. And bourbon. Alright, we'll see how this is. Ooh, I think I got it. Tarragon julep. Delicious. Very smooth. I'm not putting the stem in there because it'll just be weeds and bourbon. All right, let's get cooking, shall we? Instead of being a simple syrup pot, it's gonna be a bechamel sauce pot. Make your sauce first. It's real easy. I already showed you one, but since this sauce is maybe a little bit different, I'll do it again. It's about I don't know, three quarters of a stick of butter. Put that in there. Ooh, what kind of a sandwich can you make that has sauce on it? If you want to fancy something up, make a bechamel sauce. Super easy. Put whatever you want in it. It's great. By the way, simple syrup is sticky. All right, once your butter's melted, let's get some flour, regular flour, bread flour, self rising flour, friggin' rye flour. I don't care. Tablespoon or so of that. Add that to your melted butter. Whisk your flour in there so it's nice and smooth and not clumpy. Nobody likes clumps. Add some milk. If it's too thin, add more flour. If it's too thick, add more milk. It's not rocket science, people. Salt. Bit of pepper. And a little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg totally optional. 
Not everybody has nutmeg lying around. Although, I highly recommend you have a bit lying around. Parmesan. Just grate it into your bechamel sauce. This is the great thing about bechamel. After the milk, butter, flour, and salt, pepper, nutmeg, you can add whatever you want. If you want to add herbs, if you want to add cheese, it makes a great cheese sauce. Cream. You can add some fish stock to make like some kind of a sauce for seafood. Oh God, all kinds of stuff you can do with it. Whisk your shit. All right, we're making, um, what's the thing called? Cork Monsieur's, which is a sandwich. We haven't even touched anything that looks vaguely like a sandwich yet. Oh Lord, I forgot my drink. Oh God, this is really good. This is kind of sandwichy. Here's some bread. Get yourself a kind of a tough bread. Not too tough. This is sourdough, nice in between. But on the other hand, you don't want like, you know, Wonder Bread, some falling apart, fucking weak ass bread like that. By the way, the end of the bread is called the heel. I don't know if they taught you that in freaking first grade, but I'm teaching you that now. God. Oh, you know what's on right now and I'm not watching is pres vice presidential debates. Pardon me, do you have any gray poupon? And most people don't even know who the damn vice president is, so why should I watch this debate? Really? Seriously. Spread a little bit of gray poupon. You can use Creole mustard. Don't use yellow mustard. I mean, you can, but, you know, whatever. Let's get some ham. Please feel free to make your own ham at home. I highly recommend it. However, Seeing that I was lazy, I just went to the store and bought some damn ham. Homemade ham is truly one of the best comfort foods, like, ever. However much you freaking want. But Sean, can you put bacon on a crook monsieur? You can put bacon on freaking anything. Let's get some um, Gruyere cheese. This is smoked Gruyere. You can use plain Gruyere. Actually, you're supposed to use plain Gruyere, but Gruyere is expensive. I'm showing you the purest way. If you want to put bacon, if you want to put avocados, if you want to put tomatoes, friggin' aspergillus fungus on there, I don't care. I'm just showing you the basics. Swiss cheese, provolone cheese, highly recommend. No problem. Do it. Experiment. If it gets fucked up, give it to the dog. Better, give it to the homeless. Because the homeless love fucked up food. Nice. Now, we're gonna cook our Sambo. Let's put our oven on broil. Broil. See, the cheese is one of the other crazy things you can experiment with. What's this? Friggin' sheep's milk, something or other from the Netherlands. Let's use that. Sure, dude, try it. What's the worst can, that can happen? You might have a delicious mistake, which is the best part of experimental cooking. Parchment paper is so much easier than fucking plastic wrap. Unlike the vice presidential debates, the best part of which is, there is no best part. Take your sandwich. Remember, bread, Dijon mustard, ham, Gruyere cheese, or whatever cheese you decided to go with. Now our bechamel sauce comes in handy. Oh, yum. Spoon a bit of bechamel on top of the sandwich. Make sure a little bit drips down the side because, you know, that's just artsy fartsy. Quote Monsieur before it goes in the oven. Pop it in the oven. Well, Mr. Vice President, what do you think about this bullshit? Well, I think that whatever the president says is perfect. Mr. Vice Presidential Candidate, what do you think about this issue? Well, I think that whatever the current president says is utter bullshit, and we're going to do something completely the same, but label it totally different. Thank you for joining us in this vice presidential debate. The fuck ever.
Where's my drink? Oh my god. Oh, here it is. Thank you, Lord. This shit is the bomb. Woo! Who's drunk? Who's drunk? Are you drunk? Have you been drinking? Oh my god. This looks so good. Crook Monsieur. Alright, this whole time I've been talking about Crook Monsieur, which is very sexist. The women have been neglected. Monsieur is the French term for sir, or technically my lord. So how do we make a crook monsieur into a crook madame? I know. Let's get a pan. A little more butter. What does crook monsieur mean? I think it means technically Mr. Crunchy. An egg. Your basic egg. Fry that egg up. Because if you put it on the sandwich raw, then it's just gross. God. Oh, man. A little frying egg. Oh, it's precious. All right, let's plate it. Because plate is a verb. Fried egg experiment here. Doing very well. Let's move that on top of the croque monsieur. Once it gets on top of the croque monsieur, it is a croque Madame. The only problem with this being a sandwich is you guys still gotta use a fork and knife. Crook Monsieur, Crook Madame. Oh God. Crook Monsieur, Crook Madame. Kick. Oh, motherfucker, really? Kicks ass. Definitely recommend you try. Super easy, not hard. All right. Thank you for watching. Bon appétit and adios.